Cinco hey, 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 welcome to another edition of Viewer's Choice 2013, The Real People's Power. Free your mind. Yes, free that fucking mind. Yes. Unclog it from all the earwax and stupidity and all that shit. Just yeah. free it right the fuck up. Yeah. We are here for people watching. And in the news. With Ernie Mac and Tony B. Word, Kenny. I'm gonna give it over to Ernie Mac. People watching, go for it. Ernie Mac. Go for it. Give him a view of my techness, don't you? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another edition of People Watching. So. Alright, I got a question for you. This is something I've wondered for a while. Um, uh-huh. Alright, doctors. Male doctors, female doctors. doctors. Are you going to repeat everything I say? No. Okay, just make a joke. So like I was saying, male doctors, female doctors. Everyone has a preference. Why exactly is that? So, like, for example, you're... If you're a male, you would want, I'm guessing you would want a female doctor performing, like, like ball, check. ball checks and, uh, what's the one with the finger, the prostate exams and shit like that. And if you're a female, you would also want a female doctor, I'm guessing, unless you're just really nasty. Really freaky. So, freaky deaky. As, as someone having to go through a certain medical procedure tomorrow. Poopy test. I it's not a poopy test. <laughs> <laughs> I um find myself a little taken aback by having a female doctor perform this procedure. Uh the last time I had this procedure I had a male doctor. Um and I made a joke about it when I got home after the procedure was done. I said uh, it was like, uh, damn, I never thought having a white guy up inside of me would hurt so much. <laughs> <laughs> but now I can't say that because it's a female doctor. So now you're going to say... If it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, just like this, it feels so dirty having a white woman, having a foreign woman all up inside my ass. <laughs> <laughs> but So, with all that said, my question is, who, if you had to have a... Uh, like a personal type of, you know, medical exam done. Would you prefer a man. to have a man or a woman doctor? <laughs> what about you? Man or woman? I don't care. As long as I get healthy. Fair enough. I mean, it's not that I care that it's a woman doing the procedure. It just feels weird having a woman all by no no zone. Yeah, I don't care either way. I mean, as long as they're doing their job properly, that's all I care about. Yeah. Well, that's right about that. Well, that wraps up this edition of People Watching. I will turn it over to Tony D for In the News. Tony. Okay, In the News, um, this these articles came from yesterday. Okay. Um, out in Tampa Bay, Florida, there's a Bennigan's. Mm-hmm. And there's like a, a row of restaurants right there. Also, there's like four restaurants right on the same strip. And yet, yesterday, a couple was sitting there eating, and they kept looking around the corner, and they saw something in brown-like fur moving around in a bush, mm-hmm. okay? So they called Animal Control. The guy came out there. Um, the guy who, who did it, he's been doing Animal Control for this particular animal for the last 25 years and has captured many of them. Well, it happened to be a monkey. Not any particular monkey. It was a macaque. A macaque. A macaque chimp. Um, so he takes out his tranquilizer gun. Went to go shoot the monkey. Right. He missed on the first shot. Monkey came out of the tree, hit him, and then climbed away like nothing happened. <laughs> right. And this guy said he was one. That was one of the smartest apes he had. He has ever encountered. I guess the monkey was like, "Bitch, did you just shoot me with something?" Yeah. Oh, so I'm. My thing is, I guess it's true. We are in the wake of the rise of the apes. Yeah, that 
or a monkey that just sit there, pull out a dart, jump down, punch you one good time, yeah. and they climb back into the tree. And he couldn't catch him. He was gone. So the Planet of the Apes have come to us. Yes, they have. Caesar. That was the new Caesar. He, this one is, gangster. he don't care about punching you. He'll fucking punch you and run away. Exactly. He's a Maca Cube. A Maca Cube. So. You call him Max. I know, right? Maco, Maco, Maca. <laughs> Um, another one, another interesting thing in the news yesterday. Um, original gangsta, Ma Barker, um, her, her first name is Kate. Uh, Kate Ma Barker. Mm -hmm. Uh, the FBI shot this gangster in 1935. In their home, bullet, bullet holes and everything. So are you looking for a new home? Because this home in Tampa Bay, Florida is up for sale. Full of holes. Yes, holes are included. The original holes are also, still there. So that could be like some straight up fucking uh, museum type material right there. Turn your place into a museum. So yeah, people come I mean, up in there. get it. Get the original gangsters, my bulk of home, and you be chilling like a villain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that does it for in the news. Actually, wait, I got a little something for in the news. Yeah, what's your in the news? Um, something, something. I've been reading these. Magazines like People and Today and Star Us and Star, and I happen to keep seeing a newspaper. Apparently, the Jackson family is pretty much fucking imploding. The Michael Jackson siblings are battling with uh, the mother, the matriarch of the family, over Michael Jackson's estate and will and all that shit. So it's her versus Randy, Tito, LaToya, Janet, Jermaine, and fucking Bubbles the damn monkey. And it seems like the only ones that are in the grandmother's, the mother's corner are Michael's damn kids. Paris is fucking flipping the shit out, saying leave her the fuck alone, and going about your business. She's fucking fuming at her aunts and uncles. Right on. How old is she now? Like 14, She's like... 15. 13, I think. 13, 14. And already she going ham on her damn aunties and uncles. Shit, you ain't supposed to do that to you like what 17. I would, you know what I would say if I was her? It all belongs to me because that was my father. It belongs. It was in his will for it to all go to the kids. Yep. What the fuck is the problem with that? They're his kids. It's his decision to put the money to his kids. Nothing else. It's, it's not your money, mama. It's not your money, brothers and sisters. It's the kids. Well, the matriarch, I, I can't remember her name, Miss, I'm going to just call her Miss Jackson, <laughs> but she's, <laughs> she's the uh, main beneficiary until like the kids come of age and everything right. like that because she's their legal guardian. Right. So my whole thing is leave the shit where it belongs. It ha They have no rights to the money. Nope. If it was in the will for them to get a piece, it would be there, but it's not, and yet they want to fight fight over it. I can only imagine what the fuck Michael's doing in his grave. He is fucking flipping, doing jumping jacks, fucking moonwalking all over his grave, because he is doing? pissed off and disgusted. You know what he's doing in there? Mm. He's going, ooh, gotta be starting something. <laughs> gotta be starting something. <laughs> you ain't bad! <laughs> Shimo! <laughs> Shimo! <laughs> you know, that's what he's doing in there, and he's also singing Beat It. Beat it. Come on, Mama, beat, beat it. it. <laughs> you know, come on. Leave Michael alone. Leave his kids alone. Leave his uh, monarch alone. Mama. Might as well say the mama. The mama. His his wife. Well, his baby. They're his baby no, mama. There's no baby mama. There's just Michael's mother. Yes. No, no. I'm talking about the, the monarch. Not the monarch. The the person in this person. Matriarch. Matriarch, thank the you. The mother of the family, yeah. yeah. Michael Jackson's mother, that's what I said. Yeah, just leave him alone. The man is dead and gone. Let, let him rest. Stop fucking with his estate. If it's to his children, let it be to his fucking children. Okay? If it, was, if it was to Bubbles, if the Bubbles have everything. If it was to him. I highly doubt they let the monkey have all that money. Yeah. They'd probably shoot that damn monkey. <laughs> let me kind of sell you. You're leaving all your money. To a goddamn primate. To a primate. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Maybe it was this macro cube. Alright, well, this wraps up in the news and people watching. Uh, we'll be right back.